Well, the NFL had a three-year contract to bring the Pro Bowl to Central Florida. Now, that contract with the city of Orlando is up. The third Pro Bowl to be played here went off yesterday, and it was miserable. It poured all day long. The weather certainly put a damper on attendance. Lots of empty seats in the stands yesterday. So what comes next for the Pro Bowl, and will we see it in the city beautiful next year? New at 530, we went to get some answers from our city leaders. News 6 is Nadine Giannis is digging into this story. So, Nadine, did city leaders offer any solid answers about next year's Pro Bowl? Well, Matt, I got to tell you, those answers are not as clear as the weather is today. The city's mayor, Buddy Dyer, says, you know, he simply doesn't know. The contract is a three-year contract. It is now up. Uh, what is clear, though, is that the mayor and already city leaders are making their pitch to get the Pro Bowl back here in 2020. With guys holding ponchos for sale signs, yesterday wasn't the most ideal day for football in Orlando. We wish the weather could be more on our side, though. And definitely wasn't the normal weather we're used to. I wish it would stop. It hasn't rained here in months. <laughs> Besides today. But it was the second year in a row the Pro Bowl at Camping World Stadium struggled to fill with fans because of the weather. Well, it was uh, the worst day we've had this whole entire year. Yesterday's game marked the end of a three year contract between the city and the NFL. And today, Orlando's mayor, Buddy Dyer, says the future of the Pro Bowl here is up in the air. So I don't know if we'll get it back next year, um, but I have no doubt in my mind that the Pro Bowl will be at least on rotation here in Orlando. What are what are you hearing? Uh, nothing yet. They're just uh, going to wait till the season's over. That's what they did last year. Until then, city leaders and fans right here in Orlando are making their pitch to the NFL. It's been a really good partnership, so whether we get them back next year or two years from now or three years from now, I know they'll eventually be here. Please don't give up on Orlando. It's really, we really do have good weather here. <laughs> Absolutely. You still root for the Pro Bowl in Orlando. Absolutely. <laughs> And late this afternoon, we did hear back from the NFL. A spokesperson sent us a statement which said, in part, we will spend the coming months discussing the future of the Pro Bowl with all key stakeholders, both inside the NFL and with outside partners. Orlando remains a viable Pro Bowl host candidate for both 2020 and beyond. Uh, the NFL said that Orlando has been a great host the last three years, especially with the fan experience that they've had at Disney's wide world of sports. Uh, and so who knows? But at 7 o'clock, we are going to look into more of the economic impact in our area, Matt, including the millions of dollars the city of beautiful could lose if the Pro Bowl leaves. That in my story tonight at 7 o'clock. Until then, we're live in Orlando. I'm Nadine Giannis getting results. News 6. It was just plain old bad luck, Nadine. We did not look like Hawaii yesterday, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you.